What's going on everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Exploring and can I just say, I told you so. That's right everybody, Stranger Things is coming back to Halloween Horror Nights 2019 this year at both Orlando and Universal Studios Hollywood for their event. Now, there's a bunch of mixed emotions around this announcement that we got this morning and it was a very unexpected announcement. Um, unexpected being early, not unexpected for what the maze what we got announced, but there's a lot of mixed emotions and details and all that other stuff that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So let's hop right into the announcement and get into all the juicy details about this maze. So I asked you guys on Instagram to share your thoughts to be featured in the video, so I'm gonna read off a couple of them. So unofficial.zo said, I'm excited. Hope we see some bits of season three in there as well, as it does come out before. So in the press release, they did say that this maze is going to be based on both season two and season three. Now, I was kind of confused by that, um, how they're going to combine both seasons into it. But um, one thing everyone's tripping out about is like, oh, season three doesn't come out when, um, or like enough time for them to build a maze. You got to remember, Murdy's probably already seen season three, which comes out on July 4th of this year. And Murdy also said on Twitter that there's going to be a bonus scene or like a bonus couple scenes of season three at the end. So it's not necessarily going to be a mix of two. It's more going to be a bonus scene at the end, not a full on half season two, half season three maze. That's the way I see it happening. Universal.jp said unamused <laughs> as some of you guys are in the HHN community right now. Hayden from Movie, Movie Howler said, I think season two and three will make for a scarier maze experience with the content. And I gotta say, I do agree with him on that. I think that having a lot more content to work with and seeming how season two is a little bit more scary and season three looks like it's gonna be a little bit more scary. I feel like the maze is going to be a lot more scary than it was um, compared to last year's maze. I know there's a couple complaints about that the maze wasn't scary at all, the Demogorgon wasn't scary, the scares were expected in like every corner. So I feel like with the content that they have, between season two and season three, like Hayden said, that they're going to use a lot more of it to make it 10 times more scarier. Which brings us into our next topic of Murdy's tweet that says that it's going to be a much darker maze this year. So when I hear darker, I mean terrifying. I, I think terrifying, scary, darker. Um, so hopefully this maze is 10 times darker, 10 times scarier, 10 times everything because last year's maze was amazing and all, but it just didn't have a scare factor. And I think Murdy um, learned his lesson from that. And I'm really hoping that this maze is terrifying um, as opposed to last year's maze. And I think that it will be terrifying um, as from what we've seen from the press release and Murdy himself on Twitter. HHN and stuff said, didn't want it to happen, but I'll give it a shot. And that's one thing that I think people should do in the community is give the maze a shot because um, everyone hated on a couple mazes last year that actually did pretty good. So I think that people should give these mazes a shot. Obviously some diehard fans are a little bit upset that Stranger Things is like the big wow for the event as it was last year and people don't really want that to happen again. And people really didn't like the fact that it wasn't scary last year. But I do think you should give it a shot. There's always room for second opportunities um, anywhere in life basically. So. I think that this maze is going to be great. I think Murdy has learned from his mistakes of the past maze. Not necessarily saying that that maze was a mistake, but there are a few minor details that we um, needed to be fixed as HHN fans to be completely amused. So I do think that this year it's going to be 10 times better though of a maze. He also stated that this maze is going to be having a lot more special effects compared to last year and his head is going crazy. Um, trying to wrap his head around how he's gonna produce it all, which is cool because season two does use a lot of different effects in um, the actual show that is gonna be a lot harder to incorporate into a live action maze. I haven't seen season three yet, obviously none of us have seen it, but from the trailer, it looks the same as well. Obviously you have to think of the, the demo dogs, how those are gonna work, all the different effects as far as upside down goes. Hopefully there's a longer upside down section. Um, I do think that they're going to do the upside down scene uh, the same. I feel like they're going to make little tweaks to it, so they got to think about that. 
So I'm really hyped, guys. I'm really hyped to see this heavily affected maze. And if Murdy says that it's going to be darker along with those special effects, that's the perfect maze for me. So I'm hoping that he does deliver this year with what he's stating on Twitter already. Andrew thinks the maze will also be located in Soundstage 29 again as it was last year, which I'm very hyped about. I really do enjoy that location and I think that they can do a lot with that location. Um, I liked walking on the side of it and everything and obviously the rumored Nintendo Land construction is not going to get in the way of Soundstage 29. They're just going to have to figure out a way to do crowd control a little bit better because the Overflow Transformers queue recently closed and they don't have that to hold a Stranger Things line in. So I'm kind of curious to see where they put the line unless they just extend it out around to like Panda Express somewhere around there. I don't know, that's Universal's job to figure it out. But as of right now, there's really no um, place that they can hold a, a large queue like that in, like a three hour queue, you know? So it is gonna be in Soundstage 29 though, guys. That's gonna be our Soundstage maze for this year. Our one Soundstage maze that we get compared to Orlando. That is going to be our um, maze for that location. Best part about all this is, is it's barely March, guys. This is a very early announcement. So what does that mean, guys? What does that mean for the HHN community? It means that it's already Halloween Horror Nights announcement season, guys. He's already been teasing on Twitter that like Monster Palooza, there could be another announcement, who knows? Um, and that means that we're gonna be getting announcements very, very soon, more and more as we progress through. And whether it's scare zones, mazes, new shows, who knows guys, we're gonna be getting them very soon and very quickly. So now let's talk about my opinion on this announcement. So a lot of people are disappointed, like I said, but I have said from the beginning that Stranger Things is gonna come. It's obviously gonna come back, guys. Like, everyone knew it was gonna come back, and I don't know why everyone's, like, so shocked about it or, like, upset about it. Like, you guys knew it was gonna come back. Come on, it's it's a perfect marketing opportunity, and, it, and Murdy loves doing that maze as far as effects go and everything. So my opinion is, I'm all for it, guys. I'm hyped for it. I do love the show. I love the maze last year. It came in at my number two power ranking right behind Universal Monsters, and I do think that if it was... Um, a little bit scarier. I think it would have edged um, Universal Monsters last year, but it just didn't have that scare factor. And I'm really excited to see what Murdy does with all that criticism, the constructive criticism that he got from last year's maze of it not being scary or anything. I'm really curious to see how he takes that and kind of shows up all those fans that said like, oh, it's not scary, stuff like that. I'm really curious to see how he does that. And I'm excited for it. Um, I'm excited that it's gonna be a little bit of season two and a little bit of season three. I do hope, however, that the whole aspect of having a little bit of season two and season three, I hope that they don't minimize the seasons to where we only get a part of this, like a part of season two and a part of season three. I really hope it's not like that. I like the the aspect of it being a little bit of season three at the very end and then focusing mainly on season two. I like that aspect a lot more because I do like season two and I think that they should continue this franchise on and on until it dies out, obviously and they shouldn't just compress two seasons into one maze. So I'm hoping that nothing goes wrong as far as that goes, but I am very excited. Um, when they announced Stranger Things last year, I knew it was going to be a, uh, an ongoing thing. You know, it's just one of those things that you kind of figure. So I was more excited for the future of Stranger Things at like season two more than I was at it coming that year. So I'm very excited for season two, guys. Very excited for Stranger Things 2 to come to Halloween Horror Nights 2019. And I know some of you fans are excited about it as I am. And I just can't wait for Halloween Horror Nights. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you want to share your thoughts about Stranger Things down below, go ahead and start a conversation. Leave your comments down below. And if you aren't subscribed already, you're going to want to click that subscribe button because I'm making HHN content like this all of the time. When the announcements come out, I'm going to be doing my pros and cons series very soon. That should come out within the next couple of days. The pros and cons of Stranger Things. I do those for all the HHN announcements. So that video will be coming out soon. Um, make sure to click the bell notifications on that subscription little tab so you know when videos like that are coming out. So you're up to date with the latest videos on my channel. Make sure to check me out on Instagram at SoCal Exploring Media because that's usually where I post all my updates first as far as announcements go and everything. And check me out on Twitter as well at SoCal Exploring. That's where I do all my HHN tweeting at. Like I say in every video guys, positivity is key. Do not let those negative barriers get in your way in life. And I'm in the, ending the video here. Horror never sleeps guys. I hope you guys are excited for haunt season like I am. And it's barely March and we're already all pumped. So. That's like the greatest feeling in the world. 
I love you all. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to keep exploring. Peace.